Hello today we're taking a look at JS Backup Restore and Migrate. This is a free app in the Google Play Store that allows you to back up all your applications and app data and, and stuff off of your Android device and then use it to migrate it elsewhere. Whether you're just backing up to backup uh, or you're backing up to move on to a new device, be it Android or iOS, this has you covered. So you can see here on the main menu you have the ability to look at your data and also APK. This just is another option here. Under main data though, this allows you to get all of the stuff on your Android device, phone, tablet, etc. If you want to click on backup if you want to get your data originally here and this has all the backup settings so in the first one you can set your save location you can back it up locally to your device or you can back it up to a cloud server so things like Dropbox Google Drive etc uh, so you can set that depending on your preference under that you have what it backs up so you can have it back up the standard set of data your contacts SMS MMS all that important stuff and other media if you have images audio video music documents you can have those backed up as well in this case there's nothing on this device you can then set a password for restoration. So if you want a password when you restore the data, it's a great way to keep your data secure and safe. That way, even if people get your backup, they can't restore your data on another device because they need a password. You can set a backup file name. In this case, we'll leave it by default. It looks like it has a text or date string there. And then detailed settings. So in this case, it's backing up every version of standard app data and it's not limiting that. So by default, we'll leave that as is. You would hit start, it will back up your data here. And again, it varies on the amount of data that you have on your device. Now, once you're done, it takes you back to the main menu and you have a couple things here. You can do backup, restoration, and sync using a PC. So you can use a desktop to do this if you want to do this. You can do easy data transfer between two devices here. So you can export data if you're transferring between a smartphone or importing into a smartphone. So if I want to export my data, I can do this to a backup server. And again, I can use this depending on what I'm exporting here. Uh, it, it tells me here. So for example, when transferring to an iPhone, only contacts and calendar would transfer due to compatibility. I can hit start. And then if there's a password, I wouldn't put it here. Uh, and then you can, or you can set up a password in this case. This one is, just so we'll just set up a password here for password's sake, and we'll hit confirm. And then it's gonna export the data here. So it's gonna upload to the backup server. And then now what I have is a camera QR code. So on another device, I can easily just install JS backup on the other smartphone, click on easy data transfer, click on import data, scan the following QR code, and then it's just gonna back up my data, or it's gonna take my data from the server and then start importing it into the other phone. So super simple, that's all done wirelessly by the way. So you just do that via QR codes. Uh, of course you can do other things. If you're on the other device, you would hit restore. You can do it that way. You have automatic backup set. So that's really great if you just wanna make sure your data stays safe and secure, have it periodically backup and delete backup data. So if you just wanna get rid of backup data, I can hit delete and I can hit delete right here and I'll delete all my stuff if I choose which ones I wanted to delete here. So I'll confirm those two backups and I'll hit delete and I'll get rid of those so my data is safe and secure once I've done my migration. So overall, a really great application. Great for restoring your data, migrating it between devices. Keep in mind, you can do this iOS and Android, Android to Android. You can do this with a PC. You can do it with a camera QR code. There's multiple methods. Definitely worth checking out JS Backup.